and if it succeeded, the hunters of the deep were about to become the hunted, the first hunt. Within weeks, a prototype was fitted onto a short Sunderland patrol aircraft, one of the flying boats that roamed the Atlantic hunting U-boats. The test mission was set for early April. Alan insisted on being there, not as a scientist, but as an observer. He knew that if his invention failed, men would die believing radar could save them. And if it succeeded, the hunters of the deep were about to become the hunted, the first hunt. But when you've built a device that could alter the course of the war, you don't stay in the lab to hope it works. You go see it prove itself. If this radar failed, the U-boats would remain untouchable phantoms beneath the waves. Then faintly, a blip, small, fading in and out. Could be a whale, Havers muttered. Hold course, Alan said quietly. He leaned closer, eyes locked on the scope. The pulse reappeared, stronger this time, regular, metallic, not a whale. A shape broke the surface below, a conning tower slicing through the grey sea. The periscope glinted for just a second before vanishing again. U-boat spotted, the pilot shouted, bearing 227. The Sunderland banked hard. Death charges rolled from the bay doors, tumbling into the water. Seconds later, boom. Columns of spray shot skyward. Then another explosion ripped the surface. Oil bubbled up. Debris. Silence. The radar had seen the submarine before any human eye. It worked. He'd done it. 